What's up, y'all? So Travis has completed the lathe operation on our 15.5 stainless part, and it's ready to go over to the five axis. But before we can do that, we need to make a fixture in order to hold it. So I've scrounged around the shop, and I've managed to find this eight inch diameter piece of aluminum, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys something really cool. Before I started using shunk, I couldn't stand to have to hold round material in a vise, because that meant I was gonna have to find some soft jaws, probably build an extra tool to cut them, write a program, find something to stick between the jaws in order to clamp at the right distance. This can get time consuming, especially when you only have one part to make. And in today's competitive world, it's all about versatility. And that's the reason why I fell in love with this system from Shunk, but not in the weird way like Barry falls in love with things. So anyway, let me show you guys the versatility of this system and how it can save you time and money over the long run. So here's the adapter plates mounted to the vise. All we did was take the master jaws off and bolt these directly in their place. And you can see that the back plate is fixed while the front plate actually can swivel. This is gonna allow the gripping jaws to be able to self-align themselves with the material. These adapter plates are oversized because they actually have eight different locations that you can move these jaws to. This is gonna give you a huge range of diameters and shapes that you can hold on to all with one adapter plate set. It's gonna eliminate the need for a bunch of different sets of soft jaws. So this is a six-sided reversible jaw. You've got four flat sides and two convex radius sides. You also have multiple steps that you can hold on to. You have a three millimeter deep land that has gripping teeth. You also have an eight millimeter deep land with gripping teeth. This is gonna help get your material up off the top of the adapter plates in case you needed to drill all the way through. But you also have two sides that don't have a land in case you do want to put your material directly on top of the plates. In addition, you also have a flat face with a tungsten carbide coating to add a little bit extra wear resistance. So we're gonna be using the eight millimeter land on these. So all I do is pop them in and I'm gonna leave them loose. Now what I'm going to do is actually put the material in here and tighten it up by hand until it grips onto the material and I'm going to let the vise self-align where they need to be. Then I'm going to come back and torque them to spec. So now we've got our jaws torqued, we've tightened the vise, our part is held securely into place, and we're ready for the first stop. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this adapter system, you can find it and the vices in our online store. Don't forget to check out our academy, like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.